The group goes all the way back to 2002. I was finishing up my graduate studies and I first contacted Rick Nichols, our horn player, and we just wanted to use our skills together to form a group that would explore great literature. We saw a need, especially in our kinds of churches, to promote good music, to promote excellence in music. We hoped to inspire the next generation to pursue their talents. We had looked back at our formative years growing up and remembered how great artists would come into the churches and present quality concerts, and that had been very inspiring to us. We sensed that that era was beginning to diminish and churches weren't doing that anymore. We wanted to make that available. We primarily began by uh, doing churches and doing sacred music concerts, that kind of thing. And our ministry has really expanded in the last couple of years to where we like to fly into a city and find a community center, an artist series type event, or maybe a master class at a university, that type thing. And we'll do our classical set of music. And then on the weekends, we'll do a ministry in local churches. And so we have a great mix of classical repertoire that's been set for the brass quintet and then sacred brass quintet literature that we do in churches. The brass quintet genre itself has only been around since the 1950s. So the amount of literature and repertoire that's available to us is a lot more limited than say, for a string quartet or a string group which has been around for centuries. So we have to make a choice uh, between whether we're playing what we would call a transcription or whether it's something originally written for brass quintet. And we are able to do both and we have to do both to have a wider body of repertoire. It's not um, junior high level stuff, it's stuff we actually have to practice and work hard at. Uh, but it's very fulfilling to be able to come together with peers and uh, be stretched musically and play um, challenging classical repertoire at a very high level. It's a challenge to be able to play at that level, but it's also what makes it fun. So it's kind of a, it's a good challenge. It's something to live up to and to strive for. These guys, they push me. Uh, in ways that I haven't been pushed in quite a while. Having been in the military band system for 20 years, I, I got to experience that on a few occasions. And now that I'm retired from that, I, I don't have much occasion, but I always look forward to getting together with these guys and, and, and playing at that level, which is it's, it's incredible. These guys are great, and I'm so honored that they asked me to be a part of it. I would say the vast majority of the things that we play are things that have been written by members of the group. And I think that's one of the things that helps uh, make our group unique from other brass quintets or other brass ensembles. I like the challenge of being able to write music that is specific to this group. I know what the strengths and weaknesses are of each of the players. And so we tend to write toward our strengths and um, we write very, very complicated music that is uh, challenging to play. We do a variety of styles. We do both sacred music, classic music, and more popular music. We also have looked into patriotic tunes and even some of the more popular styles that have come up in just the last few years. We've played in North Carolina, in uh, Iowa, in California, in Florida. Florida is one of our favorite spots for the winter, of course. What we do when we get together is have fun. Whether we're rehearsing or playing, we try to make it all fun. I love getting together with these guys for many reasons. They stretch me spiritually, they also stretch me musically. It's very gratifying, very fulfilling to be able to play and uh, you know, not worry about is the, is the guy next to me going to be in tune or is the guy next to me going to be missing notes or those kinds of things. So when we sit together and we rehearse and we perform, it's just uh, really a blast. It's a lot of fun to, to be able to make music on a pro level.